Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of How to Play Survival, and today, we're going in. That's right, today we are entering this bastion, we are going to go get those presents, we are doing this. I'm terrified. Are you terrified? You should be. <laughs> so we're going to go over a couple of things with bastions before we go in there. I'm not stalling. You're stalling. Um, and, and those things are essentially the difference between piglins and piglin brutes, right? Now, real quick, bastions are castle-like structures that generate in four random parts. Uh, there are bridges and hoglin stables, housing units, and treasure rooms. Now, we've seen the treasure rooms before. Uh, these things here, I believe, are treasure rooms, or the treasure rooms are the ones with the gold blocks, I believe. We'll, we'll get there, don't worry. Uh, treasure rooms are where all the good loot is, but uh, y yeah, we'll, we'll get to that once we actually get in. Real quick, I'm going to go over these piglin guys here. Now, we've gone over this before. Piglins are... Uh, passive to you, the player, as long as you're wearing gold armor, right? We've got our gold little booties on. Uh, so these guys, if we get close to them, aren't going to be angry with us. But if we were to hurt one of these piglins, all the piglins in this bastion that are within, I believe it's around 16 blocks from the piglins little feats, uh, will get angry with us and they'll come out after us and they'll, they'll try to hurt us. It's not a fun time, right? Uh, we can stop them as they're running towards us by offering them gold. So if we had gold in our pockets, which I don't, we could just right click on a piglin running towards us, offer them some gold, and then they won't be as angry with us. Now I've actually gone out and I've got some of our gold because uh, this is going to happen. They are going to get ticked off at us. So I would like to try this at some point nice thing about it is it is actually an advancement so if you tick off a piglin and they're running at you and you right click on them and they stop and they look at this gold ingot uh you get an advancement for that it's pretty neat now other ways to aggravate piglins is to open a chest while they are within uh 15 blocks of you 15 blocks of your feet that is uh they will get lightly aggravated if you attack a piglin or a piglin brute uh whether or not you hit um, excuse me, kill it in the first shot or the first hit, all the piglins within 16 blocks of the thing you attacked are going to get angry. And here's the big one. Opening a chest, which we which we just went over. If you open a chest, a trap chest, ender chest, shulker box, barrel, minecart with chest or hopper, if you open it, uh, any piglin within 15 blocks of you is going to get angry. If you break it, any piglin within 16 blocks are going to get angry. Same goes for a block of gold, gold ore, nether gold ore is kind of a build, big one, gilded blackstone, which we haven't seen yet, which we'll get to, um, block of raw gold or deep slate gold, so any gold at all, if you break a block near them, they're going to get angry with you. So let's say um, a, a piglin was within 16 blocks of us and I went ahead and I broke this, Woo, almost fell right into that, um, <clears throat> that could have been bad. Uh, all the piglins around us would have gotten angry. And on that note, uh, if you have the ability, always, always, always break nether gold ore with silk touch because if you break it with fortune, you'll only get a couple of nuggets. Uh, but if you break it with silk touch and smelt it, you will always get an entire gold ingot. So aggravation, let's go over that a little bit. There's three different levels. There's light aggra aggravation, which only occurs when you're not wearing gold armor, all right? Immediately when you put gold armor on, when if you didn't have it on and a piglin is angry at you, uh, they will stop being angry at you. They just, they want you to be fancy like them. Medium aggravation happens when a piglin has been aggravated by a player opening or breaking a container or a gold block, right? Um, or when they witness a piglin brute or another piglin get damaged by you. So if I were to hurt that guy and this guy was close enough, the guy up there would be medium aggravation, right? They can be distracted by gold. So this is what we're going to try and do is hit one of them, have another one come at us that's angry, um, and distract that one by gold. Now, heavy aggravation happens when you damage a piglin. Oh, look, magma creams, cute. Um, he heavy aggravation happens when you damage a piglin. You cannot stop a piglin, piglin from being angry at you if they are heavily aggravated, which makes sense. You just smacked him in the face. Of course, he's going to be angry. Now, where these rules do not apply, 
is with piglin brutes. Piglin brutes don't care about the way you look, what gold you're wearing. They don't care about gold at all. The only thing that they want to do is kill you. Piglin brutes hate you, hate you, hate you. So, uh, two options with piglin br brutes, okay? Just kill them, all right? The other option is run away. <laughs> they are that terrible. Um, piglin brutes are just awful, awful creatures. They are the strongest hitting creature in the game besides iron golems. So they hit like absolute massive trucks. They're mean. A bastion is very tight quarters, okay? So if we were to come in here, there's a lot of, a lot of twists, a lot of turns. Um, there's a lot of places that you can get stuck. So things that I would say that you need to have on you at all times is a shield, all right? Another thing is a boat. It's really great to have a boat when you're doing these sort of things because you can actually... That was almost really bad. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Ooh. Uh, and there was a brute down there too. Holy moly. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yeah, we almost just died. Wow. Um, if I break this block, he can... Oh no, he can't come up here. He can come closer to us. Um, so anyways, uh, reason boats are super handy is because if somebody's ticked off at you, right, you got a bunch of piglins that are angry at you, etc., um, you can actually drop a boat down, right, and as they're, uh, coming towards you, so let's say that piglin, a zombified piglin, piglin was angry at us, as he's coming towards us this way, if we drop a boat down and he walks over it, uh, he will get stuck in the boat. Now, we've talked about this before, Minecraft mobs are dumb, Okay. Uh, so they, they actually don't know, many of them don't know how to open doors, uh, piglins do, they do know how to open doors, so be wary about that. Um, none of them know how to get out of a boat, so they can just get themselves trapped in a boat and they'll never be able to get out. It's actually kind of funny. And I want to see if I can get this guy trapped in here, just by putting this here. No, it doesn't look like I can. So I would absolutely love to kill this brute. Uh, the problem is every single piglin that's in the area uh, within about 16 blocks of that guy is going to be really angry with us. So what we can try to do here is see if he comes up here. We can try and... See, and now they're all angry. And I don't want to hit that... Oh, ouch! And this is why you have a shield. Because I did not see that guy behind me. Well, I think we're going to stop being babies about this. We're actually going to just go ahead and open up these chests and see what we get. War pigs. Look at that. Uh, we Oh, our first mending there. That's kind of nice. Um, some arrows. I'll take that gold there. Oh, we needed this crying obsidian. That's perfect. Uh, gilded blacks. Hey, ancient debris too. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. Actually, uh, why don't we take all of this? We're relatively close to uh, our little base here so we'll take all of that um i'm gonna go ahead and open this one as well Ooh, soul speed too that's pretty nice perfect and now that we've nicked all that loot i'm gonna go ahead and just run back to our little hidey hole and put all this away <laughs> well we got a bunch of great stuff from that and the biggest thing that i'm excited about is ancient debris now ancient debris is a way to make our diamond tools even better give them more more durability as well as the ability to not burn up in lava in case we were to die in lava right so we need a lot of ancient debris in order to um, upgrade everything we'll get there one day today's not that day and all this other stuff that you see up here is me actually trading with piglins. I've been doing a little bit of trading in the back end. We've got some soul speed, um, books, etc., etc. We got a bunch of leather. Uh, soul speed, what happens is, you remember the soul sand that we have? If you are to use soul speed to run over soul sand, you actually go super duper duper fast, which is super great. All right, the last thing before we jump right into this here, I'm going to go ahead and make ourselves a respawn anchor. And the way you do that is six pieces of crying obsidian, uh, three on the top, three on the bottom, and then sandwich some glowstone in the middle, and we now have a respawn anchor. I'm gonna go ahead and make some glowstone as well, because I'm fairly certain that's how you charge it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Now, what this does is, uh, we are not able to set our spawn in the nether with a bed. I'm actually going to set my spawn right here in our little house, um, which is kind of silly because I'm gonna go set it in the nether, but just in case. <laughs> So what we can do is just plop it down anywhere and then put 
up to four pieces of glowstone into it. And now when we right click on it, you see down in the bottom, our respawn point has been set. So if we were to go ahead and die in this bastion here, we will respawn. Hello, buddy. What's good? Uh, right next to that respawn anchor there. But we're done with stalling. Let's jump right into this thing. Now, some of the tactics I'm going to do, like I said before, uh, the knockback on our sword is going to help us a lot. The boats are going to help us as well get um, the brutes trapped. Uh, blocks on your hotbar are always a great idea uh, for when tackling these places. I'm actually going to put my axe up here. And I think we'll have some gold on the hotbar as well, just in case some piglins are there and angry at us, we can try and, and make them not as angry. Um, and then some other things, a lava bucket. Now, lava buckets are really helpful because piglins are not immune to heat. So you can catch them on fire, you can douse them in lava, and it will hurt them, which is kind of important. There are a lot of mobs in the nether that are quote-unquote fireproof uh, where this tactic won't work so you just have to be careful on which ones you do this with now a side note on piglin brutes uh axes will do something i believe it's called shield shield disruption essentially like a shield break if they hit you uh or they hit your shield while your shield is raised it will make your shield not work for a little while now here's a little bit of treasure what i'm actually going to do here i'm just kind of like breaking this apart so I can see how much of it there is. I'm going to go ahead and lock myself in this little area here. So just in case some piglins get angry with us for picking this up, um, hopefully they won't be uh, too miffed about it. And I do see piglin snorts angrily. So we are going to have some piggies that are angry with us by the looks of it. Oh, and here's a really big, really big treasure piece of a bastion. Now, I just want to remind everybody, bastions are usually very, very large structures, okay? Uh, they sometimes generate in a lot of different pieces, okay? So you can easily get lost in a bastion. Uh, there's also a very good chance that you won't get everything. You won't really see everything. Um, and that's just kind of the way it is, <laughs> sort of. Um, you can explore around uh, something that I would suggest, and this is, uh, I think, our first introduction to quartz there. Uh, something that I would suggest is... Um, just pick a direction, like pick an area and just dig, just dig until you don't see anything and then give up in that area and then go to another area and dig like a spiral staircase down or dig up, right? Um, dig a staircase up. But, uh, as you can see, there's usually a lot of, like a lot of lava involved with a bastion okay so you really need to be careful and be wary about where you're stepping where you're jumping where you're running um so just wildly running around in a bastion usually isn't the the wisest choice uh, unless you really know what you're doing it's it's kind of up to you uh this section here i've kind of explored everything that i that i feel like is is readily available i haven't gone up there yet we can go check up there in just a minute um but a lot of this section here, I've I kind of looked on all over it, and it's there's not much going on to be honest. So I think what we're gonna do is try to get up there. I think so. Let's just oh, and I forgot about this section down at the bottom as well. Up oh, there is a brute here too, so we could uh, honestly just pour some lava on these gentlemen, and it does a pretty good number for killing them yeah look at that now that didn't really lead us anywhere so what i'm gonna do is kind of just break into the wall a little bit and see if it takes us anywhere if it does great if it doesn't hey we'll turn around and we'll try again and it appears whoa, 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 that could have been death <laughs> it appears that it brought us out to another bridge area now these interesting areas where it has like the the lava curtains coming down those are called bridges and it looks like we are yeah, kind of just hanging over the side of a lava lake, which is kind of neat. Oh, look at that. There's a ruined portal off in the distance. Um, now, I haven't yet been able to find any nether fortresses in the immediately immediate location, so we're going to have to um, go ahead and look for one of those in the near future. But I think this will bring us over to, yep, it does, our little bridge area over there. So uh, let's come over here and we'll deal with these guys that uh, we've been poking at the entire time we've been making this bridge and i think just some well-timed arrow shots as long as this gentleman doesn't step in front of us 
gonna be enough to take these guys down. One down, let's see if we can trap the other one in the boat like I've been talking about, unless he died from the fire. It looks like he might have, yeah. And it doesn't look like there's really anybody around, so let's go ahead and break in here. <gasps> Ooh, we got our first banner pattern. That's fantastic. So banners are something that you can actually use in a loom. Uh, and a loom is something that will go ahead and take banner patterns and... Oh, wow, look at all this loot. Uh, they'll take banner patterns, patterns and we can put the pattern on a banner, which is super nice. Golden carrots are absolutely fantastic loot. I love that. Uh, we got some more gold blocks, some more gold ingots. Magma creams are great for potion brewing uh, if we want to brew up some fire resistance potions, which is great. And a golden apple. I'm not sure if we've got one of these yet. And I see that we also got some chain blocks here. Now, chain blocks are one of my favorite blocks that they've relatively recently added. More or less, they're just decoration that you can hang stuff off of. They can go on the top or the bottom of something, and they can also go on the side. They're just super neat blocks. I really like the way they look. I was really hoping to find a chest room that has a music disc in it. I see another chest here. Let's just do a preliminary sweep for any piglins that are going to get angry with us just by opening this chest here. Um, but I would like to find a music disc. Now, music discs are something that you can use in something called a jukebox, right? A jukebox you make with diamonds and... Uh, and a, uh, what is that called? Uh, wood, diamonds and wood, goodness gracious. Oh, another lodestone, nice. And the great thing about music blocks, or juke music discs, is essentially what you do is you have one in your hand, you right click on a jukebox, and the jukebox will play the music for you. And then once it's done, it'll either pop out or it'll just keep going. Um, and there is a music disc that is special that only spawns uh, as loot in bastions. It's called Pigstep, and it's probably one of my favorite Minecraft songs. Well, I explored all over that thing, and I didn't really find any of the other telltale stuff that you can find in the bastions. Um, things like the magma cream spawners or the magma cube spawners, uh, those are usually, I believe, spawn down towards lava lakes or down towards the bottom of the nether anyways. Um, so since we're so high up, I don't think one of those can spawn. I could be wrong, though. Uh, and those were the only two treasure rooms that I could find. This one here and the one on the other side. We did get a lot of gold, though, here. Let me run back over here. I'll show you what we got. We did get a lot of gold. We got a golden apple. Uh, we did get those magma creams and the banner uh, pattern. The ancient debris is going to be really nice, to be honest. Uh, we did get a mending crossbow, too. I can actually show you how mending works here in a second. But yeah, gold. We got some lodestones, uh, some soul speed books and such. I believe those might have been from bartering with with piglins. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is where we're going to have to stop our video for today. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. That was, I think my second bastion in survival minecraft so uh yeah thanks for sharing that experience with me uh next episode i think we're going to look, take a look at a lot of these uh different nether biomes that you see behind us in search of a nether fortress now we need to find a fortress in order to progress in the world uh go feed, uh, defeat the dragon uh, get our wings look at the end etc etc but any any hoozles folks uh that will be the next episode thank you again for coming on this journey don't forget to like the video and subscribe go check out my twitch and my twitter and we will see you all in the next one goodbye